Now we see this problem. Uh, the average age of 35 students in a class is uh, 16 years. The average age of 21 student is, uh, students is 14. What is the average age of the remaining 14 students? Uh, friends, here I would like to discuss one more concept that is the deviation concept. Though we have already discussed, but uh, when we see this sort of problem, so uh, deviation concept is a bit different over here. Right? So just listen to me carefully. I just put up one example before you. Uh, suppose I have five data, maybe one, two, three, four, and five. Right? Now obviously the average of these five data uh, must be three. Okay? Now the concept is sum of deviation is equal to zero. That's really important. Right? Deviation from the average or we can say from mean, right? So sum of deviations should be equal to zero. Now how it is zero, we can see just it practically. It is minus two, it is minus one, it is zero, it is plus one and it is plus two. So this, this, this and this. This is minus 1, this is minus 2, this is plus 1, this is plus 2, right? So if you add all the deviations, you'll be getting 0, right? So deviation from mean, sum of deviation from mean is always 0. That's the important concept over here. Okay, now how we are going to use this concept to solve these sort of problems? Just listen to me carefully. Now let's solve this problem. Uh, with this concept using this deviation concept. Now listen to me carefully. The average age of 35 students is uh, in a class is 16 years. So mean that is mean value or we can say average is 16. The average age of 21 student is 14. What is the average uh, age of remaining 14 students? Now we see the deviation and we'll be getting the sum of deviations, right? And that should be zero. Okay. Uh, average age of 21 student is 14. This is the overall average and this is the average of 21 student, right? So deviation is what? 16 and this is 14. So deviation is minus 2, right? It is 2 less than the average, right? So it is minus 2 is the deviation and number of students is 21. So overall deviation is minus 2 into 21, right? Plus uh, we assume the average age of these 14 students to be x, right? The average age of these 14 students to be x. So deviation will be what? x minus 16. Okay, deviation will be x minus 16. And how many students are there? 14, right? And that should be equal to 0. So it is uh, minus 42, it will go this side, so it will be 42, it is 3, so x is equal to 19, right? What concept we have used? Just sum of deviation is 0. From mean, okay? Apart from that, what you can do is, this is the first thing. This is the second thing. The deviation for of the first uh, this uh, uh, group of the student that 21 students is minus 2. So minus 2 into 21. Now in the next is in this case uh, what we assume uh, in the of uh, the deviation of these 14 student is suppose y. Right here I am taking the average age as x. Now I am taking the uh, deviation as y. Right. So deviation of one student is y so total deviation will be 14 y right y is deviation not average but deviation right so sum of deviations will be 0 so 14 y is equal to 42 that means y is equal to 3 now we are getting positive value that means y uh, the deviation is positive that means the deviation is positive so it's 19.
okay so you can go this way or this way in this case we are taking the average age so we are putting deviation over here in this case we are directly taking the deviation initially you will find it uh, difficult but believe me it's really very easy sometimes you don't even need to go for paperwork if you understand this concept otherwise there is a huge calculation and what that calculation is I just show it over here now what you have to do the regular method I just described 35 students the uh, total age will be 35 into 16 right total age of 21 student is 14 right uh, average age of this remaining 14 students we assume to be X right so total age will be 14 X okay now you have to solve this okay now what you can do is 757272 right so it's a 80 minus 42 <clears throat> okay this is the regular method and this is the shortcut right sometimes you get you'll get the opportunity to cancel out the terms but sometimes you may not but in this case that's no problem at all okay 